Now, when you think of essential oils, you're probably thinking about how they smell, right? Not necessarily the chemistry behind them. Well, there's a lot that goes into it. And here with me in the doTERRA lounge is Miss Nicole Stevens. Now, Nicole, thank you for being here, first things first. And, you know, you've taught at the university level for a long time. Uh, and you get this stuff. So talk to me about the chemistry and how important it is. Absolutely. And I mean, for a lot of my students, when you talk about chemistry, it's this mysterious and intimidating thing. But really at its heart, chemistry is the study of matter, mm -hmm. atoms and molecules and how they interact and how they behave. And so that really is a fundamental science. It gives us a really good clue about kind of how the world works. So how does that break down for the essential oils and what is the chemistry behind it? Great question. And essential oils are chemistry. They're made up of molecules. And by understanding these molecules a little bit more, it really gives us three important pieces of essential oils, safety, efficacy, and purity, right? We want to know how that safety works. We want people to be able to use these for their benefit, avoid toxicity, issues like that. And that ties into the efficacy as well. We want to know how they work. We want to know what benefits right. they can offer to us. And underlying all of that is purity. We want to make sure essential oils contain everything they should and nothing that they shouldn't, pesticides and contaminants. So all of these things really are important for us to understand that chemistry of the essential oils and how it all works together. How do you go about finding the essential oils that are pure and you know knowing one from the other? Simple, testing, testing, okay. testing, testing. We have dozens of tests that we run on these essential oils on every batch so that we understand what's in them, what makes them up, and really some of my important job function is to help understand how they work in the human body, how they affect our physiology. And some of the clinical research that we're doing really is cutting edge. It's never been done before. And I think that's why I have the best job in all the world. We take these 100% pure and natural essential oils and make sure that they're pure and natural. And then we get to test them in these amazing clinical trials. And it really, it goes back to this idea that doTERRA takes the science mm -hmm. of essential oils very seriously. Good. Well, and love it. I mean, I've definitely used them over the years. How, for the people that are out there going, okay, do I just want them to, you know, diffuse in my house for the smell? Or do I really want them? Are they really going to affect me physically? I mean, break it down for them. Sure. These essential oils, I mean, we have some great resources, really for anyone on any level who are interested in learning about the essential oils. I would say go to doTERRA.com. That's kind of a great resource for anyone, whether they just want to dip their toes in and find out which oils that they might want to use, or for someone who really is interested in the chemistry and how the chemistry works with body physiology. Go to doTERRA.com, check out some resources there. There's even a certification course if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, and it's so much fun. And there's another great website too, source to you.com. If you're interested in how the oils are being sourced and harvested and how we test them for that purity to make sure that they really can have that doTERRA label and be that 100% pure essential oil we're looking for. Well, a lot of work goes into it. And the questions that we need to ask in order to understand a lot of these things. Well, and just how far we've come. You know, oh, I yeah. feel like in the last 10 years, essential oils have become a household thing. But, you know, back in the day, though, people were like, what? Essential oils, what are they? What is this? This so, is hippie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 100%. Well, Nicole, thank you so much for being in studio. We appreciate it. Thank you.